glimpses to the right every now and again of one or two of our ships, of our fearless navy. This tour you could actually do easily do over two days. So it's all part of suburban Cape Town and a lot of us for example will rather come down here, come to these coastal areas than actually go to the waterfront. It's all part of suburban Cape Town, yes. It's like uh, Sydney, spread out over a pretty large area. So you've got places around here like the two and sixpence pub, and the Lord Nelson cellars on the left, and the Lord Nelson Hotel, and the Trafalgar Bar. Many a good man has been knocked out through those doors. Then on the other side, on the right, St. George's Dockyard Church. And in this area as well, the old uh, mast house, the sail loft. Another one of the churches on the right. And then further down the road on the right, Admiralty House, where the Admiral or Admirals of the fleet would entertain. Um, they are foreign warships that came into Table Bay this morning, um, either like an auxiliary aircraft carrier or a helicopter assault ship, I'm not 100% sure, and two destroyers or frigates that came in this morning, not sure what nationality, because the flag, because I couldn't see the flag, one of the trains coming along. and above here. There was a shark attack here last. This is the main business area, the main road business area, and then everything else all the way down the valley to the left is just Housing. almost one and a half hours to have a look around and get something to, to eat before we go to the, uh, the wine farm. Who's the, who's the most popular? KFC or McDonald's? Or KFC would be the most popular of the non-South African brands. And what's the South African South brand? Africa. You there's Hungry Lion, there's what, Chicken Licken, there's all different, uh, different ones after a couple of years. Because we grew up with real burgers. You know, with real beef patties and the real thing and huge. Like those big Australian burgers where you know you've got to eat you need three hands over twelve rand a litre up country. It uh, yeah, look it's never been it's never been this expensive ever in this country and we are taking strain. It's gone up twenty five percent this year so far. You know, so if you look at where we were and what we have to pay now for fuel, it's causing major problems, inflationary, you know, problems, everything. Where do you get your fuel from? Um, from, I'm not allowed to say it in front of the Americans, Iran. <laughs> 